Hey, it's Bricks are. Hey, they might be Bricks. We're going to do a Lego haul. We got these three items today that I found. And we're going to do a review of Second and Charles. It's a store that sells used items or returned items or whatever. I don't even know how it works. But um, anyway, set the Second and Charles. And we got these three sets. We'll start out with this <laughs> here. This For, set is so old that it has Lego Avengers of the Clark Towers <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah, this, these are from like 2008, 2010. This is 2010. It, it's a big box, but it's... It, I don't know if you can tell. These th things are blown up. You got a minifigure. This is a serious case of blocks, but box bloat, bloat. This is the normal size. Yeah, there's, there's normal size, and they just got them where there's so much... Um, the box is huge. It's a little set. I did pay fifty dollars for it, um, but I think I looked at the seals and it did not look like it had been used. Although the cashier told me it was a used set, <laughs> but I I think it's sealed. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, sometimes people can be very good with their resealing it, but this one I think it's sealed. So. And it's got a floating boat. And the next one we got is the um, city corner. It's got Pepper when he's yeah. young. We have this set already, right? Yeah, so that'd be good. We can put this one behind another one. Yeah. To make a full building. And it was $60, but again, I think it is sealed. I looked at these. The store's kind of dark in there, but it does look sealed. And I think those are fair prices. They're not like super duper 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 prices, but I think they're fair for those sets, uh, being that they're discontinued. Uh, this came out in 2009. But the thing we're most excited about, and maybe at the same time most disappointed, is this service station. Octan station, it is from 2007. So it's pretty cool finding a boxed limited edition set from 2007, but it's used. And this is what the cashier told me. I said, well, how, how do, I said, do they verify these sets? How do they do that? She said, oh, yeah, yeah, they verify. We don't sell anything that's not verified. Well, how do they verify it? She says, they count the pieces. I'm like, um, uh, no, <laughs> that's not how you verify oh a set. Goodness. Count the pieces. It could be a box full of one-by-one -one round plates. Um, that's not how you verify a set. So, the main thing is I opened it and I said I just want to see if the base plate's in there and then I'll just hope that everything else is. So we're going to see today how close it appears to be incomplete. I hope there's at least one minifigure. It did have the instructions. It has a very dirty road plate. <laughs> it has the roof. It has the little car washers. Let's see, there's the minifigure. Where's the motorcycle? There's the motorcycle. Here is an. Uh oh, I dropped a piece on the floor. There's the little. Where's the space minifigure? Ah, so we do have all the minifigures. Figures. I, 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 I have this piece. Oh, we got this piece. So maybe they did assemble it. That's what I'm hoping they did. And maybe the cashier, maybe she's just not knowledgeable the Lego. of Lego, which is fine. And more Lego for me, but. <laughs> <laughs> I I think somebody they probably had somebody build it to verify it. Uh does the car in there? But I don't know why they would take it completely apart. That's a pretty cool looking car. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we will watch this and then in an upcoming video we will show it to you. But I thought it's a pretty cool set. I actually don't remember it, and it being a limited edition means they probably only sold it in one store and there was before I did started doing YouTube I probably went, I don't know, five years or more without even stepping foot in a Toys R Us. So if this was a Toys R Us exclusive, I would have never seen it uh, other than seeing it online. And How did you know about it? Um, How did you know about it? Well, I knew about it um, from the internet. Oh, okay. You watched somebody's video of it? Yeah. Okay. But I found it today. <laughs> so anyway, that's our haul. I think I did pretty good with that. Um, 
So tell me what you think, and looks like they got an evil employee working there. I don't know. So thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video, Spriggs are. And they might be bricks. It's all right. Hey, bonus coverage. Uh, I forgot to show this. We went to um, Bargain Hunt, and I should have bought more of these. These containers were uh, 80 cents each. It's basically, well, actually, it's five or four dollars for a pack of five, so that's 80 cents. That's a good price, and these are good Sterilite ones. Or Sterilite, yeah, they're Sterilite. So I got those, and they had this. This uh, flexible track pack for eleven dollars. So let me see. I don't. I don't think it was open. That's a pretty cool station and stuff they built there on the bus. Look at that city. That's what we need to make our city look. How come we don't have a city looking like that? It's not fair. Let's see this one. Oh, yeah. There's the flexible track, and it's got the eight straight tracks. So it's just a complete set. Um, trains are fun. So anyway, thanks for watching again. Now we're really going. Bye. Bye.